what up everybody welcome back to the channel worst effing gamer here we've got a brand new hero into the game vulture has finally arrived so we can finally make our sinister six teams and see if they're all what they claim to be defender killers because so far i've I haven't had all the best luck against defenders. But before we get started with that, guys, I know I haven't been really too active on my YouTube channel lately. And if you missed out what's going on, I've started streaming on Twitch a lot more. I'm full-time streaming on Twitch every single day, uh, 2 o'clock Eastern. So be sure to check me out there. Don't want to miss it. It's a lot of fun. We're having a good time every single day. A lot of tips and tricks always handed out. But right now, without any further ado, let's get into this summoning of Vulture. Give me some of your luck, guys. I really, really need it. Wish me luck here. Let's get a good vulture. Hopefully, four stars would be phenomenal. That's what I'm aiming for. Four stars here. Let's get into it. What the hell is going on? All those legendary and purple and orange pulls are coming from the other side. Give me one in the middle, goddammit. Dang it! The best, the best we got was uh, 20 pull, guys. Anyways, let's go ahead, promote him. All right, so here we go. We Croot Vulture. Ooh, I like the model right here. Looking good. All righty then. Let's recruit him right now. Go through his abilities and then see how good this guy can be. And uh, be sure, guys, to tune in to the next video. It's going to be a Red Star pull giveaway. So don't miss that one. Hmm. If we get lucky with pulls, if we get lucky with giveaways, somebody's going to win of themselves. A nice giveaway. So let's just go ahead. I've got the rest of my Sinister 6 right now sitting at 65. So we'll take him at 65 right here. Alright, nice power up here. 1,800. Alright, as always, I'm going to speed up this, guys. This process takes a while. So let's just get to it and see how long uh, it's going to take. All right, guys, here we are. We made it. Tier 9. I know it didn't seem like it uh, took a while, but it did. That really took a long time for me here. So now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out his abilities here. Like always, I'm going to give you guys my advice as to which ones I think that you should put orange mats on. But we'll see. So first ability here, let's go all the way to level 6. All right. Attack primary target for 210 damage and another 30% additional damage per negative effect. That's pretty good. Uh, a lot like Carnage in that sense there. So I do like this ability quite a bit here. But I'm trying to think how well it's going to go with the Sinister 6. Other than Mysterio, I don't really see that many uh, negative effects spread out. But let's just go ahead and uh, go to the next one here. So for this ability here, another 40% damage plus 10% per negative effect. I don't really think that this is that great to put orange mats on yet. So let's go to the next one here. Tag primary target 
and all adjacent targets for let's see how much is going to go up to at level six all right 240 percent damage at level six plus 70 percent chance to apply slow Ooh, i like that 70 percent chance is not the best but it's not that bad either if the target is city apply offense down for one to two turns i like that a lot right there that's where facing the defenders come into play now at level seven 60 percent more uh, damage and then always apply slow always apply defense i mean offense down to city heroes for two turns this one is definitely a good ability to uh, put orange mats on guys for sure you want to do it on this guy right here all right let's check out his ultimate attack primary attack all enemies oh this one is, seems pretty good here oh actually seems really good change speed bar oh god this might be another ability that we need to orange bat here attack all enemies for 260 damage change speed bar by 20 percent negative minus 20 percent and then at level seven another 60 percent damage plus 25 percent uh speed bar reduction wow yeah this one is another ability here that you want to put orange mats on that's two abilities right there his fourth ability here is passive let's take a look at this one here all right so level four on spawn fill 10 percent speed bar dang what Ugh. fill 10 percent speed bar per city hero enemy dang so if you're facing defenders that's 50 percent speed bar fill plus 10 percent that he's going to spawn with so then he's automatically going to be a 60 percent on ally death 70 per, uh, 70 percent chance to apply to gain deflect on enemy death uh change speed bar by 10 percent more dang this guy is going to be going quite often here this would have been this ability here would have been so so good if it was if he applied it to all of his uh allies how good would this have been a fill if this one filled 10 percent speed bar per city hero to all sinister six allies that would have been op as hell but either way it's pretty good uh 50 speed bar on enemy death this one you don't have to put orange mats on to be honest always uh gaining deflect is pretty good but right now it doesn't seem like it all right so those are his abilities guys the next thing is the real test here we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into a battle with defenders here and uh, let's see what Vulture and the Sinister Six can actually do. All right, guys. Here we go. Check it out. There is the full Sinister Six roster versus Defenders here. It's a little bit quirky of a Defenders team. To be honest, I couldn't find a great Defenders team right now. But uh, we got Hulk in there as well. So let's just go ahead. Let's see how this is going to work out. Automatically, Vulture starts off with a full energy bar going up first here. Uh, his special attack primary target and all adjacent targets for 200 and 10 percent 240 percent damage if target city hero also apply offense down so obviously for uh, defenders you want to go against punisher first so let's start off with a special here look at this boom Ooh, that's really awesome ability there wow okay look at those negative effects that he gave him a slow and offense down now we're going to go boom with the shocker speed bar offense up second ability here we're going to go into mysterio applying blind and hopefully an ability block so look how many negative effects punishers got right there an assist there another assist there oh my gosh now here is where shocker comes into play let's go his ultimate boom boom punisher is dead wow that was actually pretty impressive there punisher is out already now here's his ultimate attack everybody for 200 percent 260 percent and then reduce their speed bar by 20 percent here watch this boom so at this point here these guys are barely ever going to get an uh an attack that's insane all right let's just attack normally here i just want to get him out of the way here hulk boom All right, finally, Daredevil gets an attack in. And here's the heal. Woo! 
Iron Fist. Alright. This is a damn weak team anyways, but... Doesn't matter. So, 210% damage plus 30% per additional negative effect. So, he's got two negative effects there. This is going to be about 300% damage here. And the critical hit. Damn, that's pretty good. Wait, so everybody's got a deflect there. So maybe I read that ability wrong. Everybody got a deflect. So that's actually really, really good there. There's Shocker doing some work. Speed bar 100% full because of Scavenger. Jesus Christ. Now Mysterio goes into his ultimate heal block on everybody. There's Rhino. Boom. And one more. And then we can just blow him away here with... Pratata! Green Goblin here. GG, Green Goblin. That's a game. Very impressive. Okay. I like what I see, guys. All right. So there you have it, guys. This is the full Sinister Six lineup there. It's very impressive. I'm not going to lie. I like what I saw there. A couple of tips here. This ability here from Shocker, if you have them, you will absolutely have to uh, put orange mats on this one. Apply offense up to all Sinister Six allies. That's number one. No question. Everybody gets offensed up. And then I would probably guess uh, this one here is ultimate. It's pretty good. But no, which one was I thinking about? So those deflects that we noticed earlier, there were actually not from Vulture. I was mistaken. Those were from Mysterio. Uh, his deflect come from um, an ally death, which nobody died. But anyways, that doesn't really matter to be honest. This team is all it's cracked out to be with the speed up from Vulture, which I suspected. Speed ups and speed down that he applies. Uh, defenders barely have any really real chance to actually do any damage. They just don't really have much turn uh, meter to, to actually do anything. So it's pretty impressive versus uh, City Heroes, like the defenders I said. The other City Heroes, keep in mind, Miles, uh, Spider-Man. Night Nurse, I think, is one. Um, and I'm thinking what? Miss Marvel is the other one. It's doable. You can use them versus Brawlers, I'm guessing. You can use them maybe another Spider-Verse team. But theoretically, these guys are meant just to be against Defenders. So it's going to be really, really good versus high-level Blitz. And War Alliance. Whoever's using Defenders on defense, this team is automatically made to counter that. So for that purpose, I give it a straight A. I love it. For any other reason, Arena, Rating, no, uh, this team is not going to do it for you guys, so keep that in mind, alright? So if you really just want to go crazy with this team for Blitz or for Alliance War, it's fine. But other than that, um, there's other way better other teams that you should be focusing on at the moment. So for now, I will play around with them a little bit more on the streams and we're going to have more fun. We're going to have to uh, do the Red Star pulls tomorrow live. So be sure to check out for that, guys. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock Eastern, we're going to do Red Star Vulture pulls. And we're going to do a giveaway for the winner if there's a winner. Anyways, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Hope you enjoy that, guys. Appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on Marvel Strike Force. Till the next time, Worst Time Gamer is out of here.